It is just too cold to get out there like yesterday and do that crazy winter flying or driving. So today we're gonna do an unboxing of a new RC of a new brand. By the way, that was Popeye. Everybody always likes seeing Popeye in the videos. Hey buddy. This is a company that I've had my eye on for a very long time now. Should we pull the trigger or not? That's what I've been thinking over the last, I don't know, maybe a year. Hi. <laughs> Team Coralie. Team Coralie. <laughs> I don't feel like we need to do the formal introduction. Um, I mean, you're just going with it, so I think I'll just step behind the camera. <laughs> I found this. I did find the... I've been watching Team Coralie for some time now. Should we get invested in this company? Should people know about them? And I think finally we can confidently say yes. So this is the Team Coralie Radix or Radix. I'm not exactly sure where people are with that. Great <laughs> regret. Six. This is the XP6S one eighth scale brushless four wheel drive RC buggy. You guys leave us a comment. Is it Radix or Radix? Yeah, so back when we did the Creighton, <laughs> we first called it the Creighton. And or is it Rodix? Could be Rodix. I'm going with, I my guess is based on pronunciation, oh, Radix. I would say Radix because I, I would have formally thought Radix, but now that I know the Creighton is the Creighton, But it's R-A-D, so I feel like it's a Radix. Well, the Creighton should be the the Creighton should be the Creighton. Form formally, it should be a Creighton, but it's a Creighton. Oh. So I think, uh, who knows, this could go either way. It's how, whoever made this thing, however you say it, that's how we say it. So we mentioned arm, and I'm gonna say this boldly here, one strong time, maybe just, maybe twice. <laughs> when you see this brand, this Team Coralie brand, in my personal opinion, and I mean, come on Team Coralie, you know this too, who are you going after? You're going after Arma, the right? The box even looks like Arma. It's Arma! It's Arma. It's the Arma competition, I'll say. So, anything else in there? Instructions. I'd say that's our radio. So yes, all of you that were thinking Arma, that's what I've been thinking too. I'd say you're spot on, and wow, that looks better out of the box than it does in the box, doesn't it? Yes. Wow! <laughs> that's a good size buggy. Truly an eighth scale buggy. It's a wider stance too. Yes, oh. then, then some, let's see. There, two people. Oh, bye-bye! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> hey, buddy, good boy, he loves <laughs> unboxings. There you have it, guys, check it out. Yeah, okay. I love the red, black, and white scheme. I love buggies. We love buggies. The interesting thing about eighth scale buggies is that they're very close to 10th scale everything else. Not just Team Coralie, but everybody. If you had a 10th scale buggy, it would be smaller than 10th scale everything else. So they have to go with 8th scale. So when you get into the buggy world, don't think that you're getting a giant. This is a good sized RC, but it's very much relevant in the 10th scale world. So just keep that in mind. So what do we have here? Do we have something that is better bang for your buck than Arma? Are we going for a budget option? Uh, let's take a closer look inside this thing and really dive in. But I have to say, just based on first impressions, it feels hefty, it feels like a good hobby grade vehicle. The only issue I have are these tires. They're very hard. They oh, should yeah. be much softer, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. I like all the branding they have on the truck. They even have it like it indented into the bumper. So it's a good really amount. Cool. It's a good amount. It leaves you enough space to put your own RC Sailor stickers on there if you want to. And everything or matches whatever. on the truck. Like you got the red, you got yeah. red on the shocks, red on the the wheels. The wheel nuts. <laughs> the wheel nuts. There's no denying that they've done a good job at making a nice looking vehicle. And I want to, you know, this is not like an Ishin brand or WL Toys something. That's that's kind of why I like Team Coralie. We needed, competition's always good. We needed some more competition out there. It's been Traxxas and Arma, Traxxas Arma. You got C, but they, you know, they're under the horizon umbrella. These guys are not. And so, and you've got Red Cat. Red Cat's very hit and miss. We love some of our Red Cat, but then you look at something like the Windigo. <laughs> I never should have. This should be called the Wind to Stop. It is bad. The Windigo? You know what I'm talking about? I thought it was the Kaiju. The Kaiju's amazing. Oh. Okay. See? 50-50. I'm, I'm getting them mixed up. The Kaiju's amazing. The Windigo yeah, is the one that looks like a crawler, but it's top heavy oh. and it can't do anything. Oh. And the tires fly off in the first 20 minutes of driving. Oh, okay. Again, not Team Coralie. That's Red Cat. Sounds like CD Racing. <laughs> CD Racing. They're amazing. 
very very um divided household with All right. ZD racing. Ready? so team Coralie, where do you stand let's find out Woo! nice <laughs> okay so this is a good looking setup um the first thing that comes to mind that i see are the two plugs that's because you have it's a 6s buggy so you can either run two 3s batteries or one 6s battery actually this is 4s too so you can run two nice two s batteries or one 4s or a 4s battery and it does come with thank goodness the little plug this is if you want to run one single battery rather than two i love that it comes with any vehicle out there that gives you the option of running on two or one battery has to come with this and when they don't it's just uh a missed opportunity and something frustrating to deal with right out of the box mm -hmm. they come with it so that's really good okay the motor is a really good sized motor it says right on it it's an 825 4 to 6s 2050 kv brushless motor now that, that's a very hefty motor for a vehicle this size so you put a 6s battery on this and it is going to come alive i'm guessing it's going to be our fastest buggy it very well could be I'm gonna say it probably will be. Wow, I think you're right. The only thing Don't is, it, when you kick that throttle, these tires, they're gonna slide. This is gonna be a fun on pavement mm -hmm. vehicle because right. you're gonna power slide around. Yep. Even though they're rubber, it's kind of a dense rubber. And I'm very surprised that this, like at the hobby grade price point, I would have liked to have seen a much softer tire on there. Other than that, everything else looks really good the servo setup with the receiver box up here mm -hmm. that's in a unique place and the whole thing is set up crazy because the um drive shaft is like at an angle it's that's like right making a triangle very good of. point it's very very weird to see that you don't see that very often most of the time with a vehicle that's going to be on a track like most buggies and a lot of short course trucks you slap all the electronics on one side and you put the battery or batteries on the other side mm -hmm. and they have this giant esc fan and heat sink combo which is massive it's really huge mm -hmm. over here on the left side behind the battery tray which the battery tray is really nice by the way mm -hmm. it actually has a, a tray in there it's not just the velcro yeah. so that's super cool i think you're gonna in the batteries you're not gonna worry about them sliding forward or back or anything side to side so that's nice but like I was pointing out over here, the, se the steering Actually, servo. Actually, if you stack them, the top one might slide. I suppose it could, yeah, yeah. that's right. Well, but if you only have to run one battery, then it should be pretty good. So the XT90 plug for us, because we're a lot of our batteries are transitioning into the smart batteries. Here's the thing. I bought, we just recently bought converters to go from our um, IC3 and IC5 connector to XT90. We just bought a couple of those, I think. Are they reversed though for charging? We'll see, we'll see. I can't remember which ones. I think we got <laughs> we one of each. We might have got the male, female no, mixed up on that. I think we like, got one of each. Charging. I think we probably needed to get two of each. We'll see. So XT90 is probably their best bet for something this powerful. The only other option that comes to mind for a battery plug for me, if I was this brand, would be Dean's. And Dean's just can't carry that current that an XT90 can. So if you want a high C rating battery in here, it should perform really well. Popeye's still in the show. Yeah, he needs a haircut, but we let it grow long in the winter <laughs> time. The, I, I still can't get over this receiver box and how the steering servo is connected to it. Hopefully I get a close shot of that to show you guys. But as we flip the car over here, this buggy on the bottom, we have an aluminum chassis with plastic skid plates on the side so to make the buggy actually sit wider and have a lot more room inside for the electronics and, th and to work on you've got those i guess i'm just going to call them skid plates along the side it just makes the whole chassis much wider so it's an in interesting choice to go from aluminum mixed with plastic some people love aluminum, some people hate aluminum. I think it really just depends how you drive your RC. If you take it to a skate park and you're amping 50 feet in the air and it comes down on a handrail, you probably don't like aluminum because it might bend. But I don't drive like that. Popeye, I'm loud. Uh, so for me, aluminum goes a long way. To this day, I don't believe I've ever bent. Well, we've WL toys. We've had a couple pieces of aluminum bend on a couple little buggies, but nothing that's on the true hobby grade scale. So. 
I'm really liking this thing. Mm -hmm. The arms awesome. look good. We have giant shocks. Of course, they're oil filled. Look and at the trans center. It's all looking really good. It's all looking really, really good. Um, I'm excited to run this. We'll have to do a speed test on it. Maybe when it's not so cold out, but that'll happen soon on the channel. And of course, guys, we're gonna take a look at this right here and see. Why is it yellow? Yeah, yeah. I don't what? know that I like that, but that's, some people, some people focus more on. It's like squishy. A, no, I like that. Like there's that. air behind that. That's well, just. Weird. That's just a rubber. Why is it yellow? Yeah, maybe maybe it would be cool to match it or just go with like all black. Uh, That's weird. That yellow, what's going to happen over time? It's going to get dirty. It's going to get dirty. You take your car like to the track, you gotta clean it. mud or whatever, your hands get dirty, then you touch this, it gets dirty. That's going to look bad fast. So that's one downside for sure. But I like how it feels. <laughs> Like, you're looking for your transmitter if you don't have like a universal transmitter and you're like, where's the transmitter, where's the no, transmitter? You're gonna, you're gonna see this and be like, oh, that's not the transmitter for this, doesn't match. Like No, no, but now that we know that, <laughs> stands out like a sore thumb. So in all of our radios. But if you forget, you'll be like, that's not it. No, that's it, that's the one. Yeah, I wish it matched. But it does have a nice foam wheel, that feels good. It looks like there's reverse functions and trim functions on here, like we should see on all hobby grade radios. I like the rubber grip. Maybe just go with a different color, right? I do like that. Yep. Makes it feel a lot better when you're holding it. Sure. Yeah. Okay, interesting choice, Team Corley. I'm guessing, because this is our first Team Corley, I'm guessing that this is their universal radio. Universal, maybe, I mean. Maybe it matches some others. Else. Maybe. I, I think that's what they're probably using on all their trucks and cars. So this is our first Team Corley. This is a true first impressions for a new brand mm -hmm. for us. And that's very exciting to get a new brand. Mm -hmm. 10 years from now, are we going to be saying, whoa, Team Corley came out of nowhere and they knocked Arma out of the park? Or are they going to just be tough competition, which is kind of what we all need, mm -hmm. right? For everybody. That's, that's why we love seeing Arma in the industry versus Traxxas. Hey, Traxxas is sleeping. What? A, when's the last thing they've come out with that's new? The Arma's put Haas. out like, and that's not even a new truck. The Haas is just another and monster, monster truck. truck. <laughs> another X Max, another Max. I'm not saying it's not good. Well, they did the Max, yeah. They it's just not very Max, innovative. But it's another monster truck. Yeah, and so to see Team Corley, you know what? Maybe they're the new Traxxas. You never know. Back in the day, Traxxas didn't, they were nothing. They were nobody's. People used to say you go in a hobby shop, sell them anything but Traxxas. Traxxas used to be at the bottom of the pit. And they, you know, got a good good company. They got a good uh, factory to build good vehicles and branded it and the licensing and you know, they did really good. And now they're kind of falling behind a little bit. And so maybe Team Corley, wouldn't it be hilarious if a few years from now, Traxxas was no more and something like Team Corley took over? He just are poking bad. <laughs> it, could, it could happen, you never know. It Anything truly could, could happen. It could happen. The, the tracks is going to be around for a while, probably, but I'm glad I'm not them. I'll just say that. <laughs> By the way, my back's hurting. That's why I'm hanging She's, out back here. I've just had a pretty rough day. Probably looks like I don't care. I care. <laughs> you've, you've had a rough day. I've, end of the day, pick up Amelia's toys and stuff. I try to do that for, for you today, and oh, I feel bad for you. Thanks. Yeah. Just take it easy. But this is it, guys. The new Team Coralie, at least new to us. Let us know in the comments below, would you like to see more Team Coralie? If you're new to the brand of Team Coralie, I think all these assumptions that I'm spouting off and probably that you're thinking are very fair. So leave them in the comments below. If you've got things you want to know about this, hit us up before we take it out to do a speed run and a bashing because we might be able to address those in the video before we actually release it. And I'm excited. I'm excited to possibly see more Team Coralie on the channel. We'll see where this goes. You know, like the last time you had a buggy that I let you drive. I destroyed the bumper, you right? Destroyed, yeah. You destroyed the spoiler. And the bumper. It shattered. So we'll see how this holds up. Nate's the durability. I used to be the durability oh, tester. Oh, I don't for know what's wrong with me. I, I break no, them. I don't. Sorry, I was just, I was looking at this and I was just like, How long do oh you have? Oh boy. How much longer? I see some plastic in there. <laughs> we'll, so see. Don't worry. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, think. Look at this. <laughs> I, yeah, the parts are on the way. He has it sitting up there so nicely, but let's just sit it like that. It's still broken. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Hey, while I was just ducking my head there, 
So you put the body on and there's this little front clip oh, cool. on the chassis that holds the body down. That's so you don't just have the pins up top. You've got that extra little clip. I really like that. Yeah, because sometimes like when you're doing speed runs, if it's going to be fast, something like that will help hold the body on and it won't That's parachute, make your truck, you know, do a wheelie. Really nice. Like it like makes it. a nice seal. That looks good. So, and that's tucked in right behind the arms. The body looks really good on it. It I does. Like it. Yeah, it's different. You know, yeah. It's going back more to a more solid, and there's still a lot of detail there, mm -hmm. but it's more solid. Like Traxxas is like a rainbow threw up on all their trucks right now, you know? You it know, looks okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's fine. But I, I kind of like, like that new... Uh, I like the unrealistic look. I think more felony. companies need to do that. Your felony. That needs to be realistic. I mean, I like that. Yes, it needed to be realistic. Variety's good. I think we can agree. Variety's good. Yes. So, uh, okay. We will have not just this Team Corley in the description box. Maybe you've never heard of Team Corley before and this is your first time hearing about them. We'll go through and pick out a couple more that we like, okay? Maybe some of our favorites. And we'll link a couple more Team Corleys, but at the top of those links will be this one. So if you want to learn more about the stats, the ESC, how powerful that is, um, the motor details, that, that type of thing, the dimensions, it'll be linked down there for you to learn more and possibly go ahead and pick one up for yourself because who knows, this might be, this, this might end up being just one of the best RCs we've ever had. It feels like it has the potential to be. It's very, very hefty. <laughs> what is he doing? He's excited. He likes the scratches right now. He's excited. Oh my goodness. It's, it's time to go on a walk and he knows that. Yeah. It's a walk time. It's just so cold out. <laughs> All the good stuff's linked in the description box below, and I'm I'm pretty grateful today for this opportunity to just be inside the the, the garage space here, the RC garage space, and not have to go outside. Although I have to to walk Popeye, that's okay. I do that anyway. Uh, so for that, I'm I'm grateful to the big guy upstairs, and I'm super grateful to our Patreon supporters because if not for you guys, we wouldn't make the efforts to to reach out and try to branch out to to hit new brands on the channel and stuff. Uh, you're always motivating us to bring some new stuff to the channel. And so here you go to all of our patrons, <laughs> oh Abby, Popeye, Amelia, and I say thank you. But all the viewers should say thanks too, because we're going to really, really see what this thing's made of in the, in the coming week or so. So thank you, uh, Popeye. He's getting pampered. He's spoiled. <laughs> he really is all day, every day. Very spoiled dog. <laughs> Guys. Thanks so much for watching. We will have another cool RC buggy video popping up right about now. We'll see you there. Bye.